Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. And because when I do, I do not let go. Do not let me bite you. I am dangerous. Stay away from my man. I will not repeat this again. I saw Ugomba leaving the compound. Hope she did not bother me. How well do you know this Ugoma girl? I don't understand. I mean, how long have you been close to her? Do you think you know her very well? Mm. I've known Ugoma for some years now. She's not a bad girl, but she's the jealous type and the slave queen. No, it's not what I'm talking about. Uh, I mean... Um, forget, forget it. Did you find anything suspicious about her? Not really. Just that. Just that what? Nothing. Nothing. Is it true you raised your hands against Ugoma because of that thing you call your friend? Answer me. Is it true? It's not true. And I hate it when you call and do your names. What? You heard me. Has it gotten to that? Wait, wait, wait. Has it gotten to the point you now scold me because of that thing? Now listen to me. I want that girl out of this palace immediately. Why are you hating on this girl for no just cause? Why? She did nothing wrong to you. Don't forget, she saved my life. And that doesn't make her your bride. Mother, I am not a baby. I know what I want in a woman. I do go to the love of my life. I don't have feelings for her. And I hate that girl. I hate her. I want you to send her out of this palace. Do not allow me to do it myself because you wouldn't like what I would do to her. Mother, I will do no such thing. And I won't let you embarrass her. nurtured and groomed our son to take over the kingship of this kingdom when you're no more. 
but we can't allow him to marry a riffraff as the future queen of this kingdom. What just, are you talking about? I just saw a big snake in the bathroom. You saw a snake where? In the bathroom, my prince. God! Yes, my prince. Follow me. Where is it? In here, my prince. Here, my prince. I'm sorry, my prince. There's nothing here. To me, the maid was actually frightened because of it. I am scared it's going to haunt mom. This family is going to be haunted because of me. Stop. That's stop. Don't say that. But that's the truth. I hate to get innocent people involved. It's my body. Let me peer it alone. Look at me. Just look at me. You are not in this alone. We are together. Okay? It's not your fault that you were dedicated to something you knew nothing about. Trust me, we shall pull through this together. Okay? Prince Ahamefria has the guts, the audacity to insult you because of one nameless idiot. Yes, Mom, I'm telling you, he blatantly denied ever having anything to do with me. He even told me to my face he's going to marry that wretched thing. What? Okay. I am going to say I don't know. 
can hear what she has to say about this. May her ancestors help her. She's not into this with her son. I am going to see to the end of that boy's madness. It's okay. Wipe your tears. Oh my God! Oh! Nonsense! Okay. What has gotten into you fools in this compound? There was a snake here! Dad, what is it? Is it not this stupid maid? Says she saw snakes in this compound. Hey, King! Highness, there was a big snake here. Did you see anything of it? No, Your Majesty. But, Your Majesty, they could have seen something. Do snakes vanish? If there were snakes, we would have seen them! Now, let me sound this note of warning. Final warning to you. Next time you come up with a false alarm about seeing snakes in this compound, I will leave you off the door. Ah! Oh, God! Father! Oh, God! Father! Oh, God! 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 Your Highness, this is a sign from the Oracle of Umadi. It's not happy with your household. The Oracle of Umadi? Yes. I don't understand. My Lord, I think he's talking about our neighboring village, Umudim. Yes, Umudim. But what business do I have with that land? You are harboring the one meant to serve their God. Me. As a more. Harboring someone in my palace. Can you be more explicit? <coughs> do you have anyone named Adugo? In your palace? Adugo? Father, that's the name of the girl I found came with. She is the chosen one to serve the god of Umadi. But she has bloodily refused to serve it. This is going to bring the wrath of the gods on anyone who is associated with it. That is why your household is being haunted, Your Highness. Oh, God. Did you know about this? Half of this, I'm asking you. Did you know about this? You what? And what are you still doing with her? Huh? Why bring her to my house? Now listen to me. Go in there and bundle that girl out of my palace and dissociate yourself completely from her. Yes. Immediately. What 
has come over you. How dare you stood and walked out on your father while he was still talking to you? He was done talking before I walked out. He made his point. I made money too. I do. It's going nowhere. What? Afam! Afam! Afam, listen Are you listening to yourself? That girl is going to destroy us all. Let me worry about that. Love is all about sacrifice. I will help her go through this. Help her through what? Bro, you are endangering your life by being around that girl. Allow that girl to go! Adugo is going nowhere. Haven't you heard stories? That girl is possessed. She belongs to a certain oracle. The oracle of Umudim is a notorious one! This household will not escape its rot if you don't let that girl go. I hate repeating myself. Like I said before, Adugo is going nowhere and that's fine now. Eh? Yes. What? Oh my god. Listen, it's not your fault, okay? It's not your fault that you were dedicated to something you knew nothing about. Yes. So stop punishing yourself. Like I said before, I will help you pull through this. No matter what. I want to go. I hate to endanger people's life. Listen, let me worry about that, okay? You're going nowhere. And if my parents reject you, that means they are pushing me out. for the past two days with an unknown sickness. Two days? Two, two days okay. now. Let me get it. Do you want to tell me that all the herbalists in this place cannot detect what she is suffering from? Even medical doctors, so many of them have come here. They say that medical science has not discovered any cure for this type of sickness. This is serious, man. This is pretty. Nay, nay, nay. Mazi Zuna's son is dead. Zuna? Zuna's yes. son? Yes.
Majizina, did you say your son was never sick? He was not. It was an attack. Early this morning, my wife and I heard him screaming in his room. We ran in, we find him lying dead on his bed. Something must be wrong somewhere. Something is wrong. The Alose Igenia Miri approached me and claims responsibility for all this and has vowed to destroy all of us if this girl don't come and take the position of the priestess this girl and the mother want to destroy us that cannot happen we must do something Orishima Orishima come here I said come here Your daughter do go. We want this problem to be solved once and for all. Where is she? Nine. I don't know where she is. You don't know what? Eh? Or did she? Or did you out of your senses? Eh? Have you not realized that all the happiness in this place are caused by you and your daughter's stubbornness? Eh? For this problem to be solved once and for all, you have to provide her. I said provide her. Where is she? Nine. I... I know where she is. To be honest, Your Majesty, my patience has been pushed to the limit that I can no longer condone the e-treatment. Your son makes on my daughter on daily basis. No. Calm down, my friend. Don't ask me to come down, Your Majesty. This is not the first, nor the second. Your son is abusing my daughter emotionally. To the extent that he has to raise his hand on my daughter. And you, his mother, did nothing. Who said I did nothing? And what did you do, Your Majesty? It's become very obvious, very clear, that this is a family plot to get rid of my daughter after all these years. Fiona. In as much as your emotional outburst is understandable, you have to be calculative of your words. Oh, what? You abused me the same way your son did to my daughter, right? What has come over you? You overreacted. Do you think I am? Yes. So what do you say about your son who is of my daughter? That I have totally condemned and made him promise that such madness will not repeat itself again. Come on, do you know how much I love your daughter? She is the promised bride to my son. I don't want to believe you, right? <laughs> Fiona. Then what is that bitch still doing in this palace? Trust please, me, Fiona. Please, Your Majesty. Spare me all this and tell me exactly what is going on. Fiona. My son is promised to your daughter. She he must marry, and not that peasant from nowhere. Take my word. So you people are here to take her with you? Exactly, your majesty. We have come to take her home. Otherwise, we'll all be dead. We will all be dead before she returns. God, go to the princess chamber and fetch Adugo. Yes, your majesty. Can you imagine that the oracle is angry with this very palace because of that girl's presence? Yes. Your Majesty, that is why you have to let her go. 
She spares nothing else than doom. To anyone who decides to help her on this, the only solution is for her to accept her fate as the princess of the gods of the land. My son is the only one keeping her against my will. He's such a stubborn fellow. I ask you to fetch Adugo, not him. She is busy, father. I'm here to represent her. Any problem? These are her people. The gods of their land is killing their children and their wives because of Adugo's presence in this palace. Hand her over to her people. They need her. This is 21st century. I don't believe in all that. Adugo is going nowhere. Eh? What? You heard me sound unclear. A second. Alpha Mephila. I am not asking you to. I am commanding you to hand her over to her people. Immediately, now! I hate repeating myself. Adugo is going nowhere. No, I can't imagine. Eh? My son is gone because of you. And the oracle is ready to inflict more death to us because of your stubbornness. If you like us, embrace your faith. So, so many times I felt like giving up But your love is on my mind I can't replace it Okwamakiji lobo, iji lobo Okwamakiji lobo, love more I love you from my heart I can't replace you from my heart I can't deny you cause I love you from my heart I can't reject you cause I love you from my heart like this ever since you came back. Pull yourself together. I'm scared you would develop fever. It can't be any worst mother. It can't. I don't see myself becoming a priestess to that demon. 
mother die. How can you say a thing like that? Nothing will happen to you. You won't die. I mean it, mother. I mean it. They cannot serve an oracle. They should find someone else. There is no someone else. You were dedicated to that oracle from childhood. Why me? Why me, mother? It was your grandmother. My mother-in-law. She even told me she did it while you were still in my womb. From that first day till the last day she died, I never forgive her. Even in her death, I still cannot forgive her for doing this evil thing to you. The worst of it all is that there is no way out. Ever since you were a child, I have been looking for a solution. But I found none. The hard truth is that there is nothing anyone can do to help you. So, Mama, what if you run away from this village? Far away. Won't it work? That is no solution, my dear. How can one run away from a spirit being? Is that possible? Okay. 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 And the only thing that can stop that is her death. But the death will not come fast. Everyone around her, all her loved ones, shall be wiped off before her. You are not safe if you do not dissociate yourself from her. Father. Afam. Father, with all due respect, I love Adugo and I cannot disassociate myself from her. Do something. Consult Diazamo. Mm -hmm. 
So mom, all this drama is happening right now. Sweetie, it is not a hearsay. I was there. I was there when the chief priest walked in and said everything. I heard it. I knew it. I have always known that there's something suspicious about that girl. You know, once you see her, you know she's not a normal person. But what I did not know was that she is possessed. <laughs> just the mere fact that the prince could fall in love with her, seeing her just the first time, huh? No, I knew everything was not normal. <laughs> Priestess of a certain deity. So this is it. My dear. Uh -huh. uh, mommy, so what did our farm and the family do? My dear, what do you expect? Do you go through her out of the palace immediately? Our farm was even scared. Hey! I am telling you. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Honestly. Hey! Wonders shall never end. Mm -hmm. So, my dear, nothing is standing on your way. Mm -hmm. The road is very, very free for you now. I know, mommy. I know. I know the road is nothing free. Is standing on your way. Yes, so I know. Very soon, the prince is going to come to me crying and begging. But you know what? Mommy, I'll punish him a little. I will punish him for the stress that he has made me go through <laughs> lately. I will punish him. You know it to be fun now to see the prince mm, shed tears. <laughs> <laughs> then when I'm done punishing him, I will now state my conditions one after the other. State all of them before I finally possess what belongs to me. Well, the prince is all yours. Do wait in whatever you will. Ah, sure, mommy. <laughs> I'm so excited. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I... As a mom. With all due respect, it won't work. It mustn't be her. Someone else can serve the Oracle. Why a Dugo? There is no argument on this, my prince. It's her destiny. She must embrace it. And I must warn you. You will be endangering her life if you continue to be around her. The oracle will stop at nothing, striking anyone who is discouraging her. My prince, please stay away from her. Father, you need to understand me. I am deeply in love with Adugo. I can't let her go. Please, help me find a solution to her problem. Son, what do you want me to do for you? You heard Ezemo. There is nothing anyone can do to help her. Father, Ezemo is not the only spiritual man around here. But he is the only one recommended to us by the gods of this land. Father, please, don't you know any other spiritual man outside this land? I think I know one.
Thank you, great one. My name is... I know whom you are, and I know why you are here. Really? Yes. All right, that makes it easier. Can you help her? Can you find a solution? I have handled situations worse than hers. I had made my consultation before you arrive out. Her case is a minor. Go and come back with her tomorrow. Thank you, wise one. I'll bring her here tomorrow. Ada, come and eat. Come, let's go inside. Food is ready. Your mother said you can't remember the last time food passed through this mouth of yours. What exactly is your plan? You want to starve yourself to death? What's the excellence of living? <laughs> My friend. My friend, don't talk like that. You still have a lot to live for. Please. A lot to live for? Seeing people that cares about me suffer because of me? Is that what you call living? <laughs> You just don't know what I'm going through. You don't. I do. I do. No, you don't. Do you know I spent the whole night in the spiritual world? With that demon? Do you know what it means to be a priestess? My uncle believed that I came into the world just to be a priestess. To serve a demon. That's what he believe. The same God that created you is the same God that created me. I have dreams. I have talent. I cannot be stopped into serving a demon. It's not possible. It's not. My friend. I understand how you feel. I do. But I can't do anything to help you. I'm sorry. I can't. So what about the praise? Is it doing anything to help you? The praise has abandoned me. I cannot forsake the love of my life. Forever you and I, I can replace you. I have been running around no looking for solution. And I'll find one. one Follow me. My heart longs for you. You cannot run away from your shadow, my dear. I am not your dear. You are. And you will save me for the rest of your life. Now, trying to seek solution, you will struggle to save your mother. Mama, please don't leave me. 
Take care of her and let me fetch a doctor. Okay. Mama! Mama! I don't understand. What do you mean by you don't understand? It's strange. But you're a doctor. Of course, I'm a medical doctor. But not a magician. Meaning? It's spiritual. survive this. Don't say that. Nothing will happen to your mother, okay? I need to go and see my people. Okay. I will be right back. Thank you, my prince. Adugo, don't thank me. We are in this together. Mm -hmm. I will see to the end of this. Take care of Mama. I'll be right back. Help me close the door. Your brother back. 
No. I've not seen him since morning. What? What am I supposed to call that? Do you know the way to that girl's house? Which girl? Don't be silly. You know the girl I'm talking about. I do go, you mean? Mom, I don't know her place. What is the meaning of this, Maurice? <laughs> Are you kidding me? You weren't expecting this, right? Of course, the moment you stole what belongs to me, you should expect me to react. For every action, that's a reaction. I stole nothing from you. Really? What are you talking about? Maybe I should remind you. So you're angry about that contract? Oh, you now remember. <laughs> Maybe that did the magic. But be honest to yourself. You never won it. You stole that contract from me! I stole nothing from you. You are a corny businessman, and that's why you lost that contract to me. Really? But you are the one to suffer the brunt. And maybe you have not realized something. This is your end. This will destroy you. So Chief, what next? I don't know who he might have told my encounter with him. And if I kill him, the police will be after me. Piccolo. Chief. Make it look like a kidnap. Okay? Yes, Chief. After collecting the money, you kill him. Understood? All right. I understand. Prince came back last night. The guards just confirmed he did not. And he's not going to take it easy with me if he actually spends the night with that evil girl. Just got a call from some alleged kidnappers. They claim to have the prince in their custody and are demanding for some amount as ransom. Now, let me just get something clear, Your Majesty. Did they confirm to you when they called that they have your son, the Prince? Yes. I spoke with my son. Okay. They have him. Honey, please. I want my son back in one piece. 
Let's, let's, let's just give them what they want and bring back our son safely. Of course, I am not playing with the life of my son. They warned me against involving the police. I am only trying to notify the police, not to get them involved. No, 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 your majesty. You must let us do our job. Let us handle this. This is the responsibility of the police. Yes. But I can assure you, we will bring your son back in one piece. Yes, your Just Highness. let us do our job. No. I can't take that risk. Yes. Stay away, please. Please. Of the prince, go, he will return back to you. We've come to the end of the road. You took my contract, and I am going to take your life. Freeze. Officers, yes, Your Majesty. How were you able to track their hideout? You didn't follow the guard that delivered the money, did you? Of course not, Your Majesty. If we did, uh, they would have suspected. They could have found out, and that might have endangered your son, the princess' life. So, how then were you able to get them? Um, we planted a bug on the money. A bug? How? Um, when? I am so sorry. We had to do that without your consent. But you have to agree with us that we, we had to take every available opportunity to make sure your son is safe and that we capture the criminals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just have to forgive us, Your Majesty. But you just gambled with our son's life. It's all right. It's all right. Let's take the light in a positive outcome. My greatest joy today is that the culprit behind this whole plot has been arrested and I promise you that I'll make sure he will do his time for his crime. Exactly, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. 
Thank you, Your Honor. We have to leave now. Yes. Please take care. Madoka, as I speak to you now, Odichi is done on serious ailment. I am very sure the God had left us and hit on them, understanding that we are not part of this. Odichi is now. Hmm? Tell them that this is just the beginning. The oracle is yet to start dealing with them. What is now? Hmm? Madoka, hmm? it is now that we are going to vent our anger on them. Let us go to the house and forcefully take Adugo. Submit her to the oracle. Many things are happening. Everything is changing. Whoa. I want what I need. Why? Why? This is Reverend Father Matthew. Peace be to you all. Father. Young lady, I was directed to you by the Spirit of God to set you free. But that can only be possible if you can accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. If you strongly believe that Jesus can set you free. Forgive me, Father. I don't know much about Christianity. My father was not a Christian before he died. So is my mother, my uncle and everyone around me. Then if you are not a Christian, why then did you refuse to serve the deity? Because I know what he wants from me. I understand the difference between evil and good. The day it is evil. My grandmother was a priestess of this land before she died. I'm aware of the... I'm aware of the bloodshed and atrocities she committed to the deity. But I am not ready to assume that position. I was dedicated to the deity as a successor, I want the link broken. But I don't know how. Jesus is the answer. My Lord and my God, you are a miracle worker, the Lord who answers when I call. You are a miracle worker. My Lord and my God, you are a miracle worker, the Lord who answers when I call. You are a miracle worker, my Lord and my God. You are a miracle worker, the Lord who answers when I call. You are a miracle worker, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Proverbs eighteen ten says. The norm of the Lord is a strong tower that the righteous run. You must follow us to the repair. When I leave God, then anybody can come. We must follow us to Jenny River. All of us must. We must follow us today. Make sure we take. We bring her. Bring her today. Remember, remember our family. Our family. We must follow us. We must follow us. Nothing. Nothing. Odichi! 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 Adugo, let's go! Adugo is not the solution to your problem. Jesus is the solution you seek. Who is this one? I don't know. What are you talking about? I am talking about Jesus Christ, the Son of Man. He is the one that will set you free from the captivity of the demon. You can only be saved if you can take me where they call me. 
Mr. Preacher, if your God has revealed to you that I do go, it's not our problem. Why did he not reveal to you where the covenant was made? <laughs> God did not reveal that to me. He can only do that if you are ready to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. What are you talking? If I call the youth now, they'll bundle you out from this house. I do Touch go. not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. I do go. Let's go to the Jere Jere River. I do go. She's not going nowhere. Enemies be scattered. Arise, O oh Lord, let your enemies be scattered. O oh Lord, O oh God, arise. My God, O oh Lord, arise. What? what do you think you are doing? You want to break the bond I made with your forefathers? <laughs> that must be a joke. Any attempt means death. Now you all go back to your houses or forever regret attempting this journey. You lie, you devil! They have given their life to Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, you have no authority over them again. <laughs> you can only deceive the loaded minds who cannot see that you cannot deliver yourself. Now bring them to their deaths. I am waiting. You lie. For 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4 says, For the weapon of our warfare is not carnal, but mighty through Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, I destroy you. In the name of Jesus, I destroy I you. I am waiting. Arise, O oh Lord. And let the enemies be scattered. I destroy in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, I destroy in the name of Jesus. Oh, the Lord that answered by fire, He will be my God. The Lord that answered by fire, He will be my God. The Lord that answered by fire, He will be my God. The Lord that answered by fire, He will be my God. The Lord that answered by fire, He will be my God. The Lord that answered by fire, He will be my God. Mama, what is it? Mama, you're fine? Yes, I'm healed. Where is Adugo? Adugo. She left with uh, the prince and one reverend father, so. Mama, Nsobude, there is problem. Nsobude, Nekwa, Kedi Hemenen. Mama, Maz Yuzuna and Maz Zora, they are dead. Hey! Hey! Mama, they are dead. Hey! Mm. The devil indeed is powerful, but it's quite obvious that the powers and supremacy of the Christian God cannot be overemphasized. Adugo. Your Majesty. I am very happy for you. I am indeed happy you are saved. Congratulations. Thank you, Your Majesty. How certain are you? <laughs> she is totally free. God is ever ready to answer us at all times. He never failed those who believe in Him. Afam, I am so proud of you. I mean, you stood by her to experience all this. Forever you, you inspired and I, me. I can replace you. No love is matter all about who comes my way, your love is Thank all you. I need. Mom, I don't understand. Are you not happy for Adugo? Of course I am. Yet she doesn't belong here. Why are you hating on Adugo for no reason? For considerable reasons, son. Stop! Stop! Who's all this? 
I, I am the one marrying Adugo, not you. I love her. She's the woman of my dream. She's loyal, she's intelligent, she's homely. So please, don't stand between us. I repeat, don't stand between us. Don't! Oh, strong unto God, always pray and stay away from sins. In that way, this evil spirit will never come close to you again. Prayer is the only manpower you have now. You must be attending church activities, come to morning masses. In that way, you will be closer to God. I hope you will do that. Yes, Father, I will. Since I have been delivered from the evil spirit, I don't think anything will stop me from Worshipping my God. Thank you very much, Father. My friends. I really appreciate it. You're welcome, my friends. I have to take my leave now. Princess. Oh. What is that coarse girl still doing in the palace and with the prince? You mean Adugo? Ugo, you can't believe it. Adugo is a free girl. What do you mean, free girl? She was delivered by Reverend Father Matthew. Oh, God. My brother, the prince, witnessed everything. He was there. You mean the prince took her to the Reverend Father? That's what it means. Oh, God, I am so happy for her. But that doesn't change anything, my dear. My son will never marry that girl. You are the right bride for me. I love you from my heart. I can't replace you. Cause I love you from my heart. I can't deny you. Cause I love you from my heart. I can't reject you. This is it, right? What makes you think you can brush her up? No matter how hard you try, she's never going to blend. You know why? Because this is like the case of the proverbial peak that will always return to debt, irrespective of how cleaned and well washed it is. Take the girl out of the slum but you can never take the slum out of the girl. Prince, I found me fuller. Is this what you really want? Ugomma, why don't you just swallow your pride and accept defeat? You are no longer needed around here, so get out. Is this how you talk to your wife to be? She is not my wife to be. The future queen of this kingdom. Of course. He can sound in whatever way he wants to, especially when he has his village piggy right beside him. I won't allow you to lose your moral decorum because of this thing here. It's high time you told her the truth. And stop deceiving her. 
You can't marry her. You are my mother, fine and good. But that does not give you the right to choose a wife. I bet you don't engage me in this, do you? As for you, the next time you will call her a pig, I will cut off your tongue. Um, um, um. Uh, it, it's all right, ma'am. Don't worry. It's all right. It's not... Um, um, ma'am. It's all right. Please. It's, it's all right. So, so many times I felt like giving up But your love is on my mind I can't replace it. Up on my kid, you love, oh, eat your love, oh. Up on my kid, you love, oh, love more. I love you from my heart. I can't replace you, cause I love you from my heart. I can't deny you, cause I love you from my heart. I can't reject you Cause I love you from my heart I want my Oh, I have lost him I finally lost the prince I've lost him to that peasant Baby, you cannot lose him at least the queen will not allow that. You said she promised you, isn't it? Mom, her words no longer have weight. She's not even convinced within herself. And she knows she's been defeated. How will she convince her son to marry someone that he has no affection for? <sighs> we cannot lose the prince. We've been patient enough for ages. Especially not to that nobody. That is my point exactly. So what do we do? What do we do? Good evening, ma'am. Uh -huh. How are you? Mm. I guess the queen is around. Yes, ma'am. Good afternoon. Oh. You must build the legendary witch that he to nice the prince to turn his back on his woman, isn't it? I beg your pardon, ma'am. You don't need to beg because we never get it. What makes you believe that Prince Alpha Mefula we value a gutter status. Do I know you, ma? You don't need to. Listen and listen very carefully. If you know what is good for you, you better leave this house before it gets late. That's a threat, ma. No, it is not a threat. It is an advice that will help you if you value your life. You do not have the leverage to disrespect my guest, Fiona. Your Majesty, don't tell me you appreciate this girl's presence here. Why not? Your Majesty, she's trying to steal the prince away from my daughter, her betrothed. Your daughter was never betrothed to my son. Your it was just a mere lips promise I made. On the condition that if my son finds your daughter, what it to be his bride. But you can see, it is not going that way anymore. So do not raise your hope so high. And capitalize on it to disrespect my guest. The minute 
show me the gift you gave them. <laughs> That's so thoughtful of you. Oh my god, you're so nice. Thank you. And this is delicious. My oh. princess. Mom, what are you eating? Abacha. In my house? African salad. Mom, guess who prepared it? Of course, the chef. I do good deed! Allowed this thing to prepare this in my own house. Eh? Stop. Mm, Daddy has eaten it and he likes it. Eh? Oh, mom, stop. Even the friends ate it. They all enjoyed it. Really? It's all. So. All the maidens, the guys, the guys, they enjoyed their own. I've lost it. I've lost it. What is wrong with you? How are you sure she has not poisoned all of you? Oh, mom, stop it. Stop! Please don't eat it. No! No! I thought I was the only one that got the gift. Whether it's from Goma or it's from Adugo. I just that's my business. Once the gifts keep on coming, I don't mind. I'll collect them. As for me, oh, huh, I do go. It's kind hearted and friendly to everyone. Exactly, my dear. Hmm. Unlike that self centered and egoistic Ugoma who flaunts herself like a goddess. I wonder how this palace will look like if she eventually becomes the queen of this land. Which queen? Ugoma, I do go. Who said that becomes a queen? How is it my business? How is it our our business? Hmm? So far the gifts keep on coming. I don't mind though. I will collect them. You understand? I don't even know why I'm still in this palace. I just pray for one Malaysia guy to just come and pick me and take me out of this kingdom or even this palace. But the queen is strictly against Ukoma. Huh. She hates her with so much passion. I don't think that will linger for long. Because the prince himself is deeply in love with Adugo and he wants to make her his future queen. Regardless, I pray he wins the fight. Which fight? Undertaker and, and John Cena. You both should keep on talking, I'm going. As if our opinions count. Information reaching me from the palace is that that bitch is gradually gaining the love and trust of everyone in the palace, including the palace mates. 
You mean she's bribing her way through their hearts? Diane, it's not physical bribery. It's emotional bribery. And you know that can be very effective and destructive. That bitch is presenting herself like the right woman who should be with the prince. And everyone is beginning to see her as such. Even the queen. Except the queen. She's the only one I still have on my side. I've lost the princess. Because she's beginning to see that bitch as one befitting for her brother. <laughs> Girl, this is serious. You need to do something. <laughs> I gotta do something. I know. Don't worry, drink. Drink. <laughs> I sure will do something. <laughs> <laughs> Madugo. Good morning, Your Majesty. Good morning. What are you drawing? This is amazing. Who taught you how to do this? Your Majesty, I've been drawing right from when I was small. How long did it take you to make that? Ten minutes, Your Majesty. Ten minutes. You're a genius. You are good. Thank you, Your Majesty. This is beautiful. I didn't know this girl is endowed with such amazing gift. Yeah, the prince said it. But I thought he was just hyping her. I think she's rather underrated. I don't mind if she makes mine as beautiful as this. Is that to say that you're beginning to like her? No, no. Far from it. She, she still has a lot to do to gain my fondness. But for her to marry my son, it's totally out of the contest. Because I won't allow it. Not while Uguma is there. That girl is too primitive and naive to fit into this family. I don't think so. The truth is, you never try to get closer to that girl. She is very ideal for our son. She's educated, intelligent, and beautiful. <laughs> you may not like her though, but primitive and naive is totally not what she is. Your Majesty, we promised Ugoma to our son. Uh -huh. We do not break our promises. And that's why this family is what it is. I understand that pretty well. Good. I also understand that you want our son's happiness even in marriage. Of course. But how can he be married if he marries someone he doesn't love? Ugoma is a girl I am so fond of. I won't even mind her marrying my son. But not against my son's will. Get that in your head. Then let's take a friendly walk. How do you mean? I mean this. Jesus! Shh. What? Jesus! Jesus.
you? How could you? Shut the fuck up! Shut up! I warned you to stay away from my man, but you wouldn't listen. Now listen. Not you or any other bitch out there can take the prince from me. And do you think he will ever love you again after hearing about this? You think he's gonna hear about it, darling? No. I'm sorry to disappoint you. He's not gonna hear a thing. Because you are going to disappear into thin air. Your cops, it would never be found. Girls, am I communicating? Yes, number one. Go back, please. Don't do me. Shut up! Please. Shut up! I gave you the opportunity to back off and stay away, but you chose to stay. Please. Choice, your destruction. Ah! Not one word from you. This is the police. Ah! Goma could do such a thing. Mom, do you know that the police said she has been a leader of a court group since her third year in the university? I heard when they were saying it. Hi! It was all my fault. Mm -hmm. She deceived me into thinking she's the right girl for my son. She also deceived me. Hi! Thanks to Adugo. Otherwise, we wouldn't have been able to know who she really is. Dad, you are so right. Uguma has been my friend for years. I've never seen this part of her. Imagine her want to kill an innocent girl because of a man. My goodness. Hey, she's nothing but a devil incarnate. She's she evil. must be demented to behave that way. She's an evil girl. She's evil. Too bad. Hi. She will meet her Waterloo. I want what I need, babe. Oh, 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 she is responding to treatment, Your Majesty. And the soldier, I hope everything was okay. Yes, Your Majesty. Thank God. Can I talk to her? You are free. She's awake. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine, Your Majesty. I'm sorry. Okay? Forgive me. I'm sorry about the whole thing. How I treated you and how I talked to you. I'm so sorry. Okay? Get well soon. 
I can't wait for you to come back and join the royal family. Madam, how about the bills? That's okay. Um, I have to be on my way now. I can't wait to see you in the palace. Thank you. Is that okay? Oh. 